computers in the workplace. Hey, we're all familiar with that. We often use computers in the workplace and often we have unlimited internet access at work. That brings us to today's case. What happens when you start using your workplace computer for your personal use? Well, this case involves some people in Wisconsin. Man who was there, one day looking out his window, what did he see? He saw the neighborhood boy taking a leak. He was peeing all over the lawn. Not only did he yell at the boy, he started talking to the boy's parents, felt they weren't responding appropriately, so he began harassing them by doing such things as taking out subscriptions and magazines under their name. They were billed for them. Started running ads saying that they were running businesses, that they weren't running, listing their phone numbers doing a lot of this over the internet. Needless to say, they weren't happy, weren't happy at all. So eventually they sued him. And after they sued him, they found out that a lot of the things that he was doing were being done at his workplace computer. So not only did they sue him, they sued his employer saying, hey, Mr. Employer, you had a guy there that was using a computer you provided for his personal purposes and given us all kinds of hassle. Not only that, but they found out that there were 14 other employees that had been penalized for improper use of workplace computers. So they said, look, you guys know you had a problem there, therefore we're suing you. Case went forward, went to trial, and at trial, the judge and the jury found that the employer was not at fault. So they took it up on appeal. They went to an appellate court, and the appellate court in Wisconsin also said the employer is not responsible. They said while there are certain instances in which an employer can be responsible for activity of an employee on a computer that's provided by the employer, in this instance, the employer provided unlimited access to the Internet, it was unsupervised through much of the period of time, and therefore the employer could not be held responsible for every ding-dong thing an employee does on their computer when they have access to the Internet. Important case, an important case, because there are an awful lot of people who are involved in small businesses and you might be one of them. And so if you have an employee who comes in and has unlimited access to the Internet, which many times is given because there's lots of work that needs to be done that you can get done through accessing resources on the Internet, well, that employer, you as a small employer, do not become responsible for what that employee does unless you're aware that they are using it for personal purposes that are going to be in any way injurious to somebody else, in short, cause other people problems. Well, this is our case today, you know, pretty straightforward case, but it's a case that tells us how the law is interacting with the Internet. It tells how the law is affecting you. We come to you every week with these legal video blogs. I'm David Allen.